Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice system of equation? From here, we have let's label this as equation 1 and uh, this as equation 2. Now, from here, since the uh, x and y will also be an um, integer solution from here, some I just check with you know some numbers to see which one will satisfy this given problem. But here, we don't want to guess, we just want to solve to see how it is done. Now, from here, let's multiply equation 1 and 2. So, equation 1 times equation 2. Then, we have 3 raised to power x now from equation 1. We then multiply by 3 raised to power y in equation 2. Then, also multiply by 5 raised to power y in equation 1 times 5 raised to the power x in equation 2 which is equal to 75 in equation 1 times 45 in equation 2 then from here we can apply the law of indices from here we have 3 base 3 and then we can sum the power now writing just one base then x plus y now then times also from here we write just 5 then writing x first, that's x plus y as well, which is equal to 75 times 45 from here. Then, also from here, we can see this power at the same. Applying the law of indices, we bring this 3 and 5 together. So that will be 3 times 5, which is 15. We now be raised to power x plus y. Then equals to, from here, we can also separate... 75 when we write let's this is 75 times 45 here now we break 45 and 75 down into their prime product of their prime so 75 is same thing as 3 times 5 times 5 also 45 same thing as 3 times 3 times 5 so when we use this one now so the product of these two will just be 3 raised to power 3, that is 1, 2, 3. Then times 5 raised to power 3, 1, 2, 3. So there, therefore, in this area now, we can write it as 15 raised to power x plus y. It will then be equal to 3 raised to power 3 times 5 raised to power 3. And from here, also applying the law of indices from here, we have, you know, same power here. Then we bring the base together and we multiply and this will be 15 raised to power x plus y it will then be equal to 15 raised to power 3. So now the base are the same thing here. Then we equate the power we can say x plus y from here it will then be equal to 3. Let's label this as equation 3. Then also let's divide equation 1 by equation 2. So we say equation 1 divided by equation 2. From equation 1, we have 3 raised to power x times 5 raised to power y on the left hand side, which is divided by the equation 2, that is 3 raised to power y times 5 raised to power x, which is equal to 75 divided by 45. Then similarly from here, Let's separate here the power of x together and then we can write this as 3 raised to power x over 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power y over 3 raised to power y, 3 raised to power y. So we bring the power of y together. Then equals to here when we divide, this will give us 5 over 3 from here. When we reduce this into simpler you know fraction from here then here we apply the law of indices this will give us 3 over 5 all raised to power x now so if we put half power of x then times we have 5 over 3 raised to power y now which is equal to here is just 5 over 3 then same thing as raised to power 1 now then from here we have let's leave it as 3 over 
five here. Then when we make this as well to the three over five, that means we flip this fraction now. And when we flip it, the power will just be you know carrying negative. That's the reciprocal now. Same thing here, we flip this one, the power will also carry negative. So we have here at three over five raised to the power x. Then when we flip this one, we have three over five here, then raised to the power minus y now, which is equal to here. We flip it as well, we have 3 over 5. This will now be raised to the power minus 1. Then from here, we can see the base are the same now. Since this base multiply here, and uh, we cannot have the power here, we have 3 over 5. Then raised to the power x plus minus y, 3x minus y, which is then equals to 3 over 5 raised to the power minus 1. Now the base are equal as well. We can then equate the power and say x minus y here is equal to minus 1. Let's label this as equation 4. Now we bring equation 3 and equation 4 together now. From equation 3 we have x plus y equals to 3. And this is equation 4 which is x minus y equals to minus 1. To solve the simultaneous equation, we can eliminate y by adding these two equations. So this will give us 2x, y will be eliminated, then 3 minus 1, that will be 2. Divide both sides by 2 from here to get, you know, x. So we cancel out the element x, 2 over 2, that's 1. So it means x equals to 1. Then to get y, we can solve from the, this particular equation 3, which is x plus y equals to 3. Then x is 1 there. So we have 1 plus y equals to 3. We then have y equals to 3 minus 1. So we can see from here that y equals to 2. Then, in conclusion now, we have x equals 1 here and y equals 2. We can, of course, quickly check to see if this will satisfy the equation. S is equal to 1, Y equals to 2. So when we put the value of, you know, X and Y into the equation given, for here we have X equals to 1, that's 3 raised to power 1. It will still be 3. That's 3 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power 2. Is this equals to 75 from here? Of course, this is 3 times 5 squared. That's 5 times 5, which is 25. Is it equals to 75? When you multiply this now, we discover that here is 75. Yes, and equals to 75 here. So from here, the left hand side equals to the left hand side. And similarly, here now, when we check, y is 2, that's 3 raised to the power 2, that's 9. X is 1. 5 raised to the power 1, that's 5. 9 times 5, that will be 45. So, here we have the answer here to be X equals to 1. And uh, Y equals to 2. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn the notification bell on. See you next class then. Bye for now.